Hello, everyone. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Kimmy. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening. Probably got a lot of Europe here. Good to have you here. My name is Paul Tranny. I'm going to cover getting started in Adobe Spark as the title would suggest below. Okay. So this should be really fun, especially, uh, honestly, if you're a designer, even if, especially if you're not a designer or even want to kind of improve your skills, I think this is just a good place to uh, get you up and running fast. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be a good day. I got my coffee. This is coffee number two, by the way. I'm just, I'm going to be living my best life. Tim's in the house. Feel free to say hello. Would love to hear from you. Um, yeah. And also where you're from, we, oh, Selena. So you got, Steve, you got a friend. Selena is also from New Zealand as well. So it's cool to get different people from different parts of the world. But let me just kind of share quickly with what our fabulous schedule is today. Uh, you have me uh, until 9 a.m., uh, 10 a.m. Uh, mountain time where I am. I'm in Denver. Um, but yeah, you have me getting started in Adobe Spark. We're gonna knock out a lot of graphics. I have a lot of ideas to work on. Uh, we have Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge, Voodoo Val. Uh, we'll get into photo presets with Chris D. Odom. I don't know. You could read the schedule, right? You could read it. Boop, boop. Okay, I gotta do this one right here. Zoop. Um, Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge, which will be fun because we're gonna be doing 3D in Illustrator today. So that'll be a blast. Uh, Claudi uh, will be up at noon doing some logo design for two hours. Little XD with the HP, Howard Pinsky, and uh, Kyle T. Webster bringing out the big guns with Kyle. So that should be a blast. Uh, and then a little design off. Ah, Voodoo Val and Cody Bear doing a design off. Ah, that's fun. So uh, we're happy you're here. Uh, let me know how I can help you. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry if you're sick of seeing my face, but <laughs> we've been running like 40 hours a week as Tim knows. So uh, yeah, it gives me a chance to jump into products that I don't normally get to show, which is like Adobe Spark. So this is a rare occasion, I would say. In fact, I'll switch over. You can see my screen right here. I'm, I've already been playing with Adobe Spark live stream. Boom, I can publish that out, which is like I'm doing right now. Adobe Spark live stream. Publishing, sharing to Twitter is where this is gonna go. I should probably post it on Facebook. Excuse me, don't mind that. This is just a link. We can get into the publish. Uh, boom, boom. This is just, we'll get into education because that's what this is. Uh, I can actually toggle, author is on update link. So anyways, I just created this link because that's, this is actually just probably the easiest thing to do in Adobe Spark, which is creating these posts. So I just created this graphic. Okay. This same graphic, I can actually just grab it and drop it on my desktop. Right. But uh, yeah, that's pretty fun. Got that done. Right. Have this link to that page. Uh, but let's kind of take a step back and start at the beginning. So, ah, uh, Jax definitely needs a second cup of coffee, man. Me too. Can we just hang out and drink coffee and talk about Netflix movies? What a great idea, because that's actually what we're going to do today. <laughs> right? Does that work? We're going to actually go in. And by the way, I'll just type in uh, spark.adobe.com. So this is where I'm actually going to start out right here. Boom, boom. So especially if you're a Creative Cloud member, you have access to all this, all this awesome content. So we get to tell our story. What's our story gonna be today? I have a number of ideas. Um, you know, um, fantastic. Just like reading over some of the, Vernon, what's up? So let's tell your story with Adobe Spark. I had a couple different ideas. Uh, essentially, I kind of wanted to talk about, you know, sort of like surviving, uh, staying at home all the time. What are you guys doing to pass the time? Like, um, I was thinking about top five, shows to watch top five things to do under quarantine although i don't like that word 
top five to th top five things to do uh, when you're staying at home or when you're home all the time. Here's my long laundry list of ideas right in here uh, that I can kind of reference as well. Uh, I was also going to get into some design fundamentals, but kind of your top five things to do uh, while staying at home. So. What, is the, what are the top five things you like to do? So I can make a number of um, stories. I can sort of have my story uh, published a number of ways, as you can see right in here. So I'm gonna start with a simple Instagram post right in there. Yeah, clever. You like, uh, you like Spark? And by the way, Lynn and everyone, what is Spark for? That's what Lynn asks on YouTube. Spark allows you to quickly create well-designed graphics. In fact, let me go back, I'm sorry. Uh, let me just go back, because you probably, you probably want to see some more examples. The cool thing is I could scroll down, I could see my recent projects, and I can start from a beautiful template, right? So I'm going to explore all these templates right in here. Even if you have a saying, if you want to, you know, say, hey, you know what, be a nice person, or love is love. Uh, we have this one, hard times, unity is key. You know, there's a number that I can scroll through, and this is what Spark does, right? So these Spark uh, post templates. <laughs> Are pretty darn awesome. So you can see I could actually take any one of these, right? Clicking right here and say, hey, you know what? Create something from this graphic. So if you could imagine going out on the web and being like, oh, I want to create my own version of that graphic or going to Pinterest. Could you imagine going to Pinterest saying, oh, rather than just sharing that post, let me make my own version of that, you know, Pinterest post. That's super powerful. So that's what I'm going to do here. Click. This one just says new collection. Right in here, we have this text. I can click it. And all I'm doing is I'm remixing this, by the way. So, uh, uh, I'll just type in be bold. There we are, right? So there we are. There we have our text that I've dropped in. Replace that current text. And again, uh, it's kind of like Canva, but better, Misha, just so you know. Um, yeah, let's actually see what else I have for quotes. Since I'm just going to do a one-off one, just kind of get us started. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, here's just a bunch of, okay. Ah, love this. Love this quote. Check this out. This is very appropriate for what we're kind of dealing with now. The cure for boredom is curiosity. So that's the post that I want to make. You can see created that. I can break this a number of ways. I actually want to go back in there. I can do the QR for boredom because I want to really emphasize this second word. And you can see we can kind of block that out like so. Uh, I have other graphics in here. Maybe if I, if I don't like this one or if I just want to take down the opacity so it's not so in your face. Ooh, I like some of this depth that we have going on right down here. Notice this. We have this little... I love that. I love I love playing with space. It's so cool. Um, but if I wanted to push this back, I can. Oh, shoot. Darn it. Did I just lose my... I'm sorry. Let's go back in here. All right, and we're back. Uh, I can grab this corner too and just resize. There we go. This is a little bit better format. I like this. Taking this one, any of these graphics I want to change, I get this properties panel off to the side. So I can take that opacity down like so. Uh, the cure for boredom is curiosity. I love this because so many people are getting... Uh, <laughs> oh, Tim. Oh, heart. Heart right here, Tim. Mm. That means a lot to me. The cure for boredom is watching... A stream with you, Paul. Thank you so much. You're so kind. Even though you're just 
You're just telling me that. You're trying to butter me up. <laughs> but either way, this is awesome. Cure for boredom is curiosity. So I have this one done. Here it is. Uh, I could take this graphic. I shared it earlier. Remember, I just did a quick share. Well, guess what? I could just download this as a ping or JPEG file, right? Downloading like so. And I can choose to save this later. And hopefully what we're going to get is we're going to get an archive of a bunch of these sayings, like designer sayings, uh, any tips that you have for staying at home, like... I don't know how many how many days have you gone by wear with by wearing the same sweatpants? <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> I'm wearing the same like running pants as I did yesterday, which is convenient because I left my chapstick in the in my pocket, so that happened. <laughs> okay, so this is a good one. Thank you so much, Tim. Uh, yeah, let's kind of rename this as well. We'll just call it Cure for Boredom like that, and that is saving, right? So I don't have to worry about saving, and I can go back to my projects, and that's where it will be. So uh, this one I did earlier, um, I'll just delete that one, because they're too similar, but you can see a number of ones that I've done here over the years, right? Let's uh, start a new one. We're gonna create a project Click right here. There's more we can do, by the way. So we can even get into web page, video, a number of things. But right now we're just doing some uh, quick Instagram redesigns. Uh, if I click right there, it's actually going to give me a blank, uh, a blank template. But I can actually search Spark templates right over here. So if I'm going to do something, uh, this is going to seem weird, but I'll just type in hair or beauty. Uh, or colorful, go really abstract. Let's go colorful. Uh, head, just trying a couple different words. And by the way, these are from the community. I'm kind of searching through. Uh, let's go back to hair. Sorry about this. Let's go with this one. Sure, why not? Great thing is we could always switch this up. So as I open this up, it's grabbing that template again. It's like Pinterest, but you're owning this Pinterest. Is look. So we want to send somebody some encouragement, right? So that's what I'm doing right here for this one. Uh, that font is looking uh, a little crazy, and I'm not sure why. There we go. Now it's rendering correctly. Uh, let me see what you guys are talking about in chat. Ah, uh, coffee. Coffee is my best friend. I'm gonna t I'm gonna start a tally, just like a little list of ways to survive a quarantine. Right? Pro tips. Uh, So I, I, I think this is kind of funny, by the way. This is just a funny take on this whole scenario. Uh, there's always outdoor survival tips, but now what I'm looking for is like um, indoor survival tips. So what are your, <laughs> in the great indoors, what are your survival tips? I don't know. Um, make sure you exercise. Uh, I'm interested in your top five TV shows to watch under quarantine as well. So that's something I'd do. But uh, for the great indoors, uh, exercise, question mark, body weight. So that would be plyometric. There we go. I even, uh, did I even spell it right? No. There we go. Something like that. Okay. But I like that. The great indoors. Anyways, let's get back to this graphic. As you guys think of things, uh, have a lock on the fridge. Ah. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of all over the map right now, but I think we're gonna have something good come out of this. Let's add to this, your, look, your hair's looking really, really good today. Even though I can't see ya, I'm sure it's looking really, really good today. Uh, I might like that image, I might wanna actually 
replace it off to the side. Let's go to replace. So right over here. Um, let's go fun. Actually, you know what? I think for this one, let's actually do, I wonder if we just do something simple. There we go. We're gonna go something simple, just um, uh, a simple color right in here, as you can see. Um, yeah, and I think that works out just fine. Cool. There we go, we have this one done. I could add more to it. Let's take this graphic right down here. If I can grab it, let's move this off to the side that in the center, make it a little larger. Controlling the order right over here. So notice how the text is on top and it's hard to select it. We'll just drag it to the bottom and now I can grab this, this graphic and make it larger or smaller. But we'll just do something like that. Uh, notice how I actually can't control the uh, letting. I'd actually probably want to break this onto two lines, right? So right in here, I would actually take this, getting rid of, oops. Oh, that's what this is. This is a special font. That's what that dash is right there. Okay, so let's bra drag that to the bottom, selecting this, getting rid of good today, done. There we are, duplicating that font, that angle, bam, done, there we are. Your hair's looking really, really good today. So now I can send this to someone. All right, we could, <laughs> we could upload our own, our own photos. So I was thinking about sending this as encouragement to someone. I'll download that. Again, we're just kind of creating our archive, right, over here. Um, Let's have some fun with this. You ready for this? How you guys doing? I don't like to share. Kimmy doesn't like to share. True confessions. I eat ice cream in the closet. Oh man. Oh, so many different ways we like. Favorite snacks? Oh, you know what my favorite, favorite <laughs> snacks for at home survival? I like nutty. Nutty Buddies. Is that, I don't even know how you spell it. Nutty Buddy Bars. That's what it is. That is so funny. Ice cream. Closet. I don't know why you're eating it in the closet, but yeah, you do your thing. <laughs> Duct tape the kids to the floor. <laughs> that is cruel. I'm not going to write that one down. I'm sorry I can't. Um. <laughs> Start talking to yourself. <laughs> Uh, why am I even, let's just do this. Boom. Boom, there we are. Top five tips for surviving the great indoors. I love it. Okay, so, so cool. Uh, where else would you? Eat. Who eats ice cream in the closet? Like, why are you doing that? <sighs> Man, that coffee is so good. Okay, so uh, your hair is looking really, really good today. I'm going to kind of finish this out because I think what would be fun is like, you know, get in touch. So this is what I do so, some, so for surviving the great indoors. Get in touch with old uh, friends and relatives. Right? So that's what I would do here as well. And let's make sure we get this as a nice bulleted list. And that's what I'm kind of doing here. It's like send encouragement. That's another thing that we can do. Cause I think it's just, it's a good time to just like reconnect with people. Uh, by the way, I'm going to change this color in the background. You guys are going to think I'm crazy. There we go. Just so it matches my shirt. It just looks a little bit better match my shirt. Okay, we can continue. Um, uh, get in touch, send, encourage. 
uh, send encouragement to someone. As they say, everybody's fighting a battle, and I think uh, just everything happening right now, people are just at, at different stages in this whole thing. Uh, so that being said, let's just download that one. That one's good. We will take this a step further because I'm like, actually, let's go back. Let's go encouragement. And by the way, what we're doing is we're creating graphics of just ideas, things to do uh, at home or, or way, <laughs> ways you've been surviving. Oh, I'm going to write this one down because it is so true. Where is it? Who's, who said it? <laughs> uh, Alberto. <laughs> Drunk. Drunk cooking. <laughs> uh, I was reading somewhere that uh, alcohol... <laughs> The alcoholic consumption has gone up 43% in the San Francisco Bay Area. <laughs> it's like everybody's just at home drinking. So yes, Michelle, this is a, uh, it, this is about Adobe Spark and Melanie loves it. Oh, uh, oh, good. Well, Melanie, we'll see you back during Illustrator, by the way, which is awesome because that means you will be around shortly. Illustrator's at 1130, just so you know. Here's a, We just got a packed day, full day, full schedule. You can see that below me. Uh, just so you know. So anyways, uh, next up we have Photoshop, then we have more uh, photo presets, Illustrator, logo design, XD, drawing, and a design challenge at the end of the day. So lots of fun stuff. Okay, so we have this one done. Let's go back to my projects. I'm going to make one more really fast because I could actually remix this. So I can take this one. Um, actually, no, I might even make a new one. Let's make a new one. Wait for it. Uh, and what I'm gonna do here now is start from scratch. Rather than uh, searching or grabbing from Creative Cloud or any other place, I'm gonna actually upload a photo. Cause I happen to have, like I might send my one of my siblings just a fun old photo, right? And uh, I haven't looked at these in years, by the way. So let's just kind of take one like this one, if you don't mind, right? So this is a perfect chance to, since, we're staying at home, drunk cooking, make quarantinis, right? Uh, go through old family photos, right? Because everybody, you have that big stack of photos that need to be reorganized. Oh no, it's blurry. Ah, man, I think that one is blurry. Ah, oh, darn it. Ah, man. Ah. Man, darn it. That is too bad. Anyways, I actually just discovered these uh, photos. And right now I'm just using Bridge and I'm on my desktop. Right, because I just discovered this whole folder of old photos. And I don't know why they're all rotated this way. Look at this guy. Who's this guy? Oh, yeah. That's that's me in, in high school. <laughs> Ew, that's so funny. All right, so pardon me while I try to find a photo. There's my dad. Uh, wait for it. I'm just trying to find a ridiculous picture that I can drop in and poke fun at someone. All right, we're gonna mess with my cousin. So let's take this photo really fast. Uh, 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 like this. Yeah, let's use that. Um, I'm actually in Photoshop right now. Uh, convert to smart object. Filter, we'll go into camera raw filter. I'm gonna hit one button really fast because I just wanna clear this up. Let's just hit auto. And auto kinda does a little bit of cleaning up. I can go through and use uh, sort of a spot removal. I don't know if this is our earring, but right in here I can kind of remove that spot and get rid of some of this other stuff that's just kind of getting in the way, right? So again, just some quick cleanup for this photo. And let's take this, let's rotate it. There we go, like so. Good chance to mess with people in a fun way. So this is my cousin, Eric. 
There we go. Boom, boom. Using those personal photos is what I'm doing right now. And loading that up. Ah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, I need. So that looks pretty good. Let's add right over here. So we're making one from scratch. Add some text for this text. All right, so yeah, anyways just dropping in some fun photos. I was gonna make fun of his hair because I think it's like perfectly level. Let's just type that in. Let's do perfect. There we go. Um, for this type, I can change the style and check this out. I'll just rotate through this, by the way. Rotate through different suggestions for changing it up. Right, I kind of like this. This is kind of fun because this is very 80s. So this might be a good style to go with. Um, I can actually work with different uh, shapes and colors, obviously, right? So it's like your options are limitless, right? Limitless. Uh, as I take a look at this, we can go into the current colors change that color to white, right? And this might be more along the lines of what I want. I'll actually keep that yellow because that looks pretty good. Um, I want to add an icon. Uh, we want to add an arrow. Let's get a long arrow. Ah, let's just grab this one. Like so. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sorry, I don't mean to be ignoring chat, but I just have to edit this. And let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, color, I want to change the color of this. There we go. Perfectly level. Bam! He's like, ah, oh. he's like, look at me, man. I'm, I'm killing it. I'm killing it in my flat top game. It's like perfectly level, right? A plus plus plus. Boom. There we go. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's really fun. Basically, I'm using Spark to mess with people, right? But again, this is all along the lines of things to do while we're in the great indoors. And this is basically gonna be a page that we're gonna write, okay? So that is the goal. Um, uh, here's the same as YouTube, Alan, that is correct. It is the same as YouTube. Actually better if you are joining me on Behance. Uh, Okay, fantastic. Going through old family photos. Uh, this is all part of reconnecting with people, right? Like so. Cool thing is, is we could always come back to this and this is uh, Eric. There we go. Let's kind of, I'm gonna add some more photos later, but check this out. We're saving that post. We're gonna make a whole page of Frodo. Good to see you here. Yes, yes. Right, so that one's fun. We're having fun with this. Guess what? We can create a project. We can go beyond graphics. We can make a web page. Uh, and what we're going to call this. Tips for surviving the great indoors. There we are. My, what would you call it? Spring of 2020. My spring of 2020. Right? Does that sound good? Here we are using Spark page now. Okay, and uh, jumping in here, we can start to add photos, either ones that uh, 
are uploaded or we'll just find some free ones. So we'll just do, let's just type in indoor and see what we got. Oh, I wish my, I wish my space looked like this. But let's just go ahead and pick one. Oh, that is too nice, right? That is almost too gorgeous. Guess what? We can replace it. It's so gorgeous. Just such a gorgeous, a gorgeous view right here that I'm looking at. Uh, maybe this one? Look at these. Look at, oh, this is a better one. This is more realistic, right? This is what we want. It's like, I'm not living in a ridiculously high-rise, like, um, penthouse or something. Tips for surviving the great indoors. Right down here, this is where we'll add text. You know, here's my top tips. Uh, Lorem, uh, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's do... Yes! Boom! All right. So what I just did there is I did magic, by the way. Um, I don't know if you ever use... Oh, there's somebody talking in the background. Okay, so there's a weird song back there. Next track. Sorry about that. There is a weird track in the background. I think I've changed it. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, okay, so... Uh, I actually use something called uh, text expander, and this is just another little tip, where all I have to do is I type in lorem, and then it gives me lorem ipsum. So that's typically what I'll use just as placeholder text, and it works in any app. So that's what I dropped in here. This one is actually hipster, ips hip hipster ipsum. We can see that's why we have flannel, direct trade, brunch, mumblecore, copper mug, blue bottle. Ah, love blue bottle. All right, so let's continue. Uh, this is just basically your intro paragraph. That's all this, uh, top tips. So let's add another one right in here. Uh, let's add text that just says an H1 coming from you and me. Um, uh, let's do this. Uh, get in touch with old friends and relatives, right? So that's what we're going to use here. Now we're going to go ahead and drop in a photo. Um, photo. Oh, you are the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then uh, check this out. So that's what I'm just going to grab a photo. Ah, there we go. Um, where am I in here? I do not see myself. Anyways. Oh, here's another good one. Classic. Yeah, I do not know where I am. But anyways, this is the photo wall we use, right? Why not? Let's edit it really fast. Do a quick cleanup in Photoshop right in here. Let's just crop it like so. Oh, there I am. There I am with my eyes closed. Good job, Paul. Way to, way to, way to nail it. My eyes are closed. What is this? this? Is like a 4th of July celebration? Let's go ahead and crop it. Let's export this out. You get the idea. Look at this, she's she's throwing some shade. Look at her throwing some shade. This is Eric with the flat top. Oh yeah, that is that should be Eric. Oh me I think so. I don't know. She's throwing some shade. Carrie, my cousin. Alright, that's tip number one. Desktop, dropping that in. I'm gonna do full width for this, right? Uh, I could do a window. This is even better because I just wanted to make this a nice background. So it will be something like this. Cool. Hopefully that works. Actually, I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to put it right down here because this is going to be the title for this section. H1. Next up, uh, more text. Some lorem ipsum like so. 
new section. You get the idea. Cool. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, so I love uh, text expander, by the way. If you saw, and I don't want to reveal all my all my things, but it's just like, it's just shortcuts. So if I wanted to have, um, you know, again, this is how I do it. I type the regular word and then I, I just, I just duplicate that last letter. So M, boom. Ipsum is I, 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 P, S, U, M, M. And then I'll drop it in, right? So there we could have some of that. Uh, adding a new photo is what I can do next and dive into this a little bit more. Uh, I gave up proofreading for corn. You gave up proofreading? Uh, so who's Lorem? Good question. All right. Okay, so let's get into uh, next section. You ready for this? I'm going to add something. That is, uh, say TV related. Let's just type in TV. TV couch action. Wait for it. Trying to find a good image. There we go. Full width. Actually, we'll do a window like so, because our next section is going to be uh, top five TV shows to watch. Boom. Boom. Text. And now we can get into this. Okay, top top five TV shows to watch while we're inside. Go! Since this is my blog post right over here, we'll go into a list view and we're gonna add, I'm gonna say Ozark. And uh, let me know your favorite shows to watch. Cody Bear's in the house. Cody Bear and Voodoo Val are gonna be right over here. Oop. Oh shoot. I don't know what just happened. I hit the wrong button. There we go. Uh, with Voodoo Val at 3 p.m. today. So just a shout out there. Uh, time check. I'm gonna go for another 40 minutes. And uh, yeah, should be good. All right, Money Heist, Tiger King. You know, I might even change this. Top top TV shows to watch. And I'm just gonna start writing down everything you guys say. Most of them. Uh, top Chef. Uh, better Call Saul. Yeah, let me know what you're like really into. I, I love Ozark. Think about Ozark is great the first season. Second season, I think most people is like tough to get through. Um, I could hardly remember what it had, what what I was really like watching. S season three so far is really good. BoJack Horseman. I hear that's a is that a little bit dark? I don't know if the humor's a little dark. Uh, BoJack Horseman. How do I? I'm looking. For... I don't even know how to spell right now. So that's good. Anything by Quentin Tarantino. Oh, you're being funny by Quarantino. Ah. I actually did not read that initially. <laughs> Mr. Robot, thank you, Hakan. I gotta get back into that. Altered Carbon. Okay, so, so this is really good. Keep those coming, Rick and Morty. Uh, oh, let's cancel that. Let's add a video. So, um, I can't really have the video play, but let's kind of, let's dive into this. Westworld, 
Um, okay, let's let's do this. Um, uh, Westworld might be a little bit dark. I'm not sure, but um, let's just kind of dive into this. Let's do let's do the office. I don't know. I'm I'm scared. Westworld's gonna be a little a little sketchy. Uh, feel good moments for the office. U.S. Copying that, closing that, pasting that video in there like so, right? The office. So I encourage you to like find, like this is a great thing to do, like right up here, the top five, my top top tips for surviving great indoors, you know, get in touch with old friends and relatives. Top five TV shows to watch. We'll throw in another photo. Uh, we're gonna do movie. Top movies. Uh, I would even say this, like put together. Um, <laughs> uh, we could do top movies, movies to watch. But more importantly, uh, I would say my top five movies ever as of April 2020. <laughs> There we go. Boom. Let's get that on one line. And you get the idea. I think you guys are understanding how this is working. I'm just kind of getting into the content right now. I would say my favorite movie of all is Raiders Lost Ark. And guess what? I'm just I'm just really basic. I love It's a Wonderful Life. I really like this movie called Brick, which I just kind of talk about more than watch. I like Drive. I like one word movies with one world one word titles. Crazy. Crazy Crazy Stupid Love. Uh crazy. There we go. Next up, we have uh, Thor Ragnarok. Cool. Who oh, you like the chef show? Ugly Delicious. Vernon, are you a chef? That's a an, that's a an entirely new category that we can get into. Because I think what you know, if you're surviving the great indoors, like learn how to cook. I think is a great one, right? So somebody should have mentioned that. I'm sure you guys did. Everybody's like lock the fridge, eating ice cream in the closet. You know, learn how to cook. There we go. Okay, so you get the idea. You understand how this works. Uh, how to train a dragon? I don't, I don't know the exact title. Ah, uh, Black Mirror. So dark, man, you guys, killing me. Black. I mean, I like Black Mirror, but man, I can only take it in like small doses, right? Okay, so we got that done, boom. Right in here, we can add anything appropriate to these like favorite movies. Again, it's gonna be video related, right? So that's what I'd uh, drop in there. Ah, oh, you were too kind. Stop it already. Um, but I will add another photo. Zoop. Right in there. Photo is gonna be uh, food. Let's type in food. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. Window. There we are. Uh, I don't even know what this is, but this is like a caption I can add. Butternut squash soup. Boom. Come down here, boom. There we go. I should have been centering these all along. Uh, colony, Sandlot, ah, oh, 
great one. Let's type in Sandlot. So here's my whole point. Like you need, I, I feel like everybody uh, should have a favorite song and a favorite movie. You know, just pair, just pick up a favorite movie. Don't be like, oh, I like this one, but I like that. No, no, I think you should have a favorite, like a favorite song, a favorite movie, a favorite thing. You know, that is just, you know, that's all. All right. All right, you get the idea. Top movies, learn how to cook, add some text in there. Let me get into uh, what we can do with also video as well. So you ready for this? This is gonna be awesome. Uh -huh. uh, let me check everything as well. Boom, boom. We're looking pretty good. The Hunters. Okay, so sorry about that. I'm just getting into this on the other side. A couple votes for Money Heist, Better Call Saul as well. Sopranos, The Hunters. Cool. Boom. I mean, how easy is this? We're just creating this blog post. Now, I can also get into video, but for video, I'm actually going to save a lot of that for tomorrow. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, so Andrea is asking, like, where's this stuff coming from? Uh, are you talking these, uh, this, like, heads-up display, like this HUD, this properties panel that pops up? I'm actually not even right-clicking. It just comes up automatically, right? And you don't even have to select the word. You could just click right in here, you know, make it left, right, center, justified, whatever, right? Um, so you get the idea. Uh, oh, so top five hits, top five hits has, okay, top, we'll just say top movies of all time. Oops. My top movies of all time. There's eight. I actually have a blog post on that already. All right, cool. Let's move on. Um, right down here. Uh, and actually for get in touch with old friends and relatives, right in here, we can do a photo grid or a glide show. So let's go to photo grid. Right in here, we'll go back and we'll upload photos. So from here, we'll go to that picture of Eric, which was pretty funny. We'll grab this picture of family. Um. Let's try this one more time. Photo grid, upload photo. Uh, let me just try to select all of these, see if they will all load up. Yes, they will. All right, fantastic. So this is all working just fine. Right, what I need to do is I need to go in and clean up a lot of these photos right in here, okay? So I'm just gonna grab some, I'm sorry, so many of them are just, uh, you know, kind of all over the map. Photo grid, upload. I'll try to find some that are least right side up. Okay, I think you get the idea. I think that's pretty good. A lot of these are actually just... All right, let me try this one more time.
Ah, I scanned all the, most of these photos are upside down. Ah. Oh, no, no, actually. I have no idea what's happening now. They came in upside down, now they're right side up. Let's grab this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Cool. All right, everyone. Yeah, so you're right. I think Spark doesn't export, but it's hosted by Adobe. So yes, that for the Spark page option, it's hosted by Adobe. You're going to have that one URL. Those are almost the same type of photo. Okay, done. You get the idea. Uh, don't worry, it's going to rotate them. There we go. Saving that. Now we have our photo grid. So right in here, we can check out. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and let's present this, shall we? What we have so far, even though I still have, I still get more time. Yes. Come on now. Uh, everyone's become a chef because everyone's stuck at home. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a big thing. Like you know, just like learning how to cook, I think is like super fun. You know, um, I recently got a uh, smoker, so I should probably type that up. You know, so I have a smoker, so I've been like smoking meats and veggies, and it's been awesome. Because a smoker, I think, makes everything taste wonderful, in my opinion. Uh, so here we are in present mode. Uh, see some of my cousins. You can see me. Here I am in probably in high school as well. Uh, you can see the shirt is... I'm swimming in this shirt. I was so skinny back then. So skinny. Uh, but yeah, there's my there's my family. That's kind of kind of fun to look at. We are coordinated, man. That's freaking awesome. That's a great look at my mom with her power suit. Look at that. Look at my dad. Oh yeah, that's a good looking family right there, right? Uh, here's my my brothers, my brother and his wife, high school sweethearts, grandparents. I can click through all these. My cousins and more cousins and oh yeah look at this this is also fun to look at as well there we are look at me and my brothers i think we did this at disney world we took a van ride a vacation where we drove our van from colorado to florida to orlando um and uh yeah that's where we took that photo she has five kids now only three at that time it looks like but there you have it we got this done, top TV shows to watch. We got our top movies of all time. I could do the same thing in here. If I escape out of this, I was just in presentation mode, but also I can share this. So publish and share link. Uh, and show my name. Let's pick a category. This is, um, we're gonna do education. Let's create that link, boom. So it might take a second to upload it, but there it is. Let's copy that. I'll paste it right in here in chat just so you have it. This is a Spark page. I just posted it in chat on Behance. So uh, Tony and Selena and Fran and everyone that's watching on YouTube, if you go to behance.net forward slash live, you could check out that link, right? So there you have it. Uh, pretty easy to work with, right? We can go on and on. Uh, let's actually kind of cover anything that I haven't. Um, I could do, actually let's cancel out of this. I could do a split layout. So right in here, learn how to cook. Tell me what you guys are learning how to cook, right? So, uh, s what? Oh, books, thank you. <laughs> Sam, you like my mom's power suit? My mom is awesome, by the way, I just have to say, she's awesome. Uh, so this would be recipe for something. Boom, boom. Do, do this and that, do this and that. But I'm just showing this side-by-side -side layout right over here. You know what? Let's pretend like we did that, but let's go into uh, baking. Actually, oh yeah, let's just grab some of these goodies. Ah, oh, brownies. Oh, 
Oh, these look so good. Here's my list. Do this and that in these steps. Cool, easy enough, huh? Do you want it to be harder? Because it's not. In this case, I'll use an H2. Uh, I'll still center it, but right in here. I P S U M M. Boop. There we go. All the steps to make this happen. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, uh, Jennifer, you made a cucumber vichois last night. I don't even know what that is, but that sounds awesome. Anna Brackett made whipped coffee. I think I saw. I think I saw that online somewhere. Perfect bacon strips. Oh, let's just get into these recipes. Learn how to cook. Uh, it's right in here. Uh, these are ideas, by the way. Chocolate cake. Um, ah, uh, yeah. Smoker is fancy. <laughs> All right, you get the idea. Does that make sense? All right. Oh, man. Steve with the puns. Oh, yeah, books. That's what I was going to get into as well. You get the idea. Let's get back into reading. Because I think everybody wants to get back into reading, but not as many people do it. There's my window on down the line. All right, cool. You got the idea. I think we're going to save this. We could always come back to it. Let's uh, show header and footer. So I could actually add that in, which that's, we can brand that, but we'll do that later. Um, Google Analytics that we can add to it. We've already previewed it. We've shared it right over here. You can click. And, and I can invite other people to edit it with me as well. So invite somebody else to go ahead and edit it, right? But I think that looks pretty good. Um, is that pretty cool? Colorado brownies, grapes of wrath. Okay, so fine, I'm gonna get into some of these. Uh, is, that, is that a recipe or a book? Maybe that could go into recipes, making grapes of wrath. Bad joke. Uh, cool. All right, everyone, we are making great progress. <laughs> and uh, stranger in a strange land. Okay, cool, done. By the way, this has been saving in the background this whole time. So all I need to do is click back over here on the SP, right? And we can see there's my recent projects, right? All these graphics we made today made this web page. We can always jump in and edit it a little bit further. Uh, but again, we can go in and create more projects. So uh, we did a web page. In video, actually, I did want to get into tomorrow, but I guess I could kind of click through. Um, and uh, my home, I'm doing, so, so, so one of these categories is gonna be like, you know, start new design projects, right? So that's gonna be one of them. Start design projects, uh, you know, that you've always wanted to work on. And that's why I think everybody's here. Recipes for cocktails, oh, you're speaking my language, Michelle. I'm in it, into it. Anna Karenina, I like it. Ah, see, that's a nice thing. I could, I should be able to.
Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have this open in a different browser and I can always add to that, but. Okay, so. Um, promote an idea. I wanna do a show and tell, right? So this is the video that I'll try to get into a little bit today. Um, notes, you can just easily get started right here. We're gonna, we're ready to do this, right? From here, it's gonna access my, my mic and then I can have images and I can actually import video and all that fun stuff. So right here, uh, introduce yourself, make it personal, connect it with your audience. So I like these little pointers that they have, but I'm gonna come in here and just say something and I'm gonna grab this mic, which is connected to my laptop. Oh, sorry, press and hold. Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a tour of my home office. Uh, play. Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a tour of my home office. Cool. There we are, my home office. Ah. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, no, I kind of like flair. Let's go with flair my home office there we go that's kind of uh yeah i'm not maybe i'm not crazy about the font but it kind of works yeah why not why not right over here take a photo let's upload a photo give me one second um I don't have a great first image. Um, sorry about that. Plus, I think it'll be weird if there's a picture of me and I'm there's voiceover over it. But anyways, this is just video. This is for tomorrow. You'll see more of this uh, later. Whoop. All right. Did you know, actually, if you are working uh, in QuickTime, QuickTime Player on a Mac, you can just do a Command C and it will copy that frame. And again, I want this to be the cover image right in here. We can start with that. And actually what I wanna do is I wanna give it a gradient map, right? And we're gonna pick a different gradient map for sure. Right down here, let's go into photographic toning. You know, something kind of like that is what I was thinking. Making it kind of blue. I don't know, different options. We'll go with that. Export it out, and this will be our cover. There we are. Boom, getting rid of that. Going back in here on my desktop, there's my cover. Okay, fantastic. Um, sorry about that. Upload photo, cover, boom. There we are, cool. This isn't just any MC Escher, by the way. This is an MC Escher. 
There we are. This is an MC Escher pop-up book. Look at that. Sorry, some of, there's some green in there. Look at that. Could you imagine a cooler thing? Like, look at this. You ready for this? Wait for it. Zoop. So cool. Anyway, I love this. I love this thing. That's awesome. So we have that. My home office, like so. We can go to the next the next scene and uh, record more. So just whether I'm adding a photo, uh, recording that with my voice, uh, I can add video. So right in here, let's actually grab a video. And this is gonna be really rough. Let's grab this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I do need to convert it um, to a specific type. So I will work on that later, okay? But really the whole thing when it comes to Spark Video is you're creating a video or more like a slideshow with voiceover and images, right? So that's what I would do in this case, right? The setup. Again, I don't have photos right now because I'm gonna get into this tomorrow is the idea, okay? Oh, that's cool, Michelle. That is cool. All right, so we'll get back into that uh, once I have more images, which I'll have tomorrow. Uh, cool thing is this is being saved in the background. I click right here, back on the Spark logo, scroll down. We have my home office right there, okay? Uh, oh, Hakan, I didn't know if there was a frame rate problem on Spark. That's a good question. I'm gonna find out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I think that's another fun thing to do as we're talking about tips for surviving, you know, the great indoors is like put together some top 10 lists, like top. That's really kind of what this is. Top five, top 10 movies, TVs, books, recipes, um, favorite cocktails or drinks might be another one as well, all going as part of this. And you can import those videos, uh, excuse me, you can import video, of course, but, um, we can go beyond that. So I wanna get into some of this other stuff as well, okay? So right over here, we have presentations and slideshows, right? So we can make a presentation, which is gonna be a web page, and then we have slideshow. There's also branded content that you can make. So this is, when it comes to branded content, if you are working for a business, um, you'd upload your logo, pick a color, and choose your font. So right over here, Let's up logo, load, upload a logo. There it is. Actually, let's fix that really fast because I'm going to make one really fast, but this is the branded content they're working on. Oh, Paradise Lost into it. Okay, so chances are you're gonna need to modify your logo. I'm gonna use this ambigram one I made a while ago. Oh darn it, cancel. How is everyone? Let's review the schedule, why not? There we are. Voodoo Val's coming up next. She's gonna do a Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. Get involved in that. I'm curious to see what the challenge is today. I have not taken a look. Uh, but she will be up in like 15 minutes, so really soon. So for this logo, by the way, this is honestly, um, it needs to change. I mean, I don't want it to be uh, colored because it's gonna be on different colored backgrounds. In fact, this logo should really just be white, okay? So that's all it needs to be is white. I'm gonna export this out. And I'm gonna make sure that it is a ping 24 file. So it's gonna be trans, oh darn it. I hate it when I do that. Okay, so I'm in Illustrator. I just changed the logo to white and saving it with transparency to my desktop, like so. There we are, have that done. Let's edit this. Oops. 
there, much better, right? Boom, little logo like there. If I have branded colors, I'm gonna go with red today. So notice I'm, red is my theme. So there's my colors. So I'm making my own branded content, choosing my font. Of course, I'm gonna pick PT Sans Narrow, right? There it is, PT Sans Narrow. Uh, brand name, Paul Tranny. Create my brand, because whether you know it or not, you are a brand. Oh, Ross, it's a little late in Tokyo. Um, yeah, you've added your first brand. Got it, thanks. I can change this at any time. In fact, I can add more fonts. So I want more than just a PT Sans Narrow. I need just something that's a little more clean. Um, in fact, uh, more fonts, boom. I can add my own fonts, which is pretty impressive. Uh, for the body, I can change that as well from a serif to a sans serif. There we go. Lado regular done and done. Closing that. Now I have an alternate font as well. Heading and body. So that works out great. Adding a, a secondary color, which in this case is going to be black because I'm going based off of my shirt color today. Done, done. Okay, so let's brand our content. Let's come in here. Let's grab this, work from home. Wait for it. Hello, Paul and chat. Hello, David. Hello, David. So, uh, I want to rebrand this to Paul's brand. I get it. It's already red. Um, I could probably, let's just like change the colors really fast just so there's more of a difference, right? But right over here, we'll click design. Here's different variations, but also brandify right here. Clicking right there. It maps that to the colors that I've picked. And then it puts my logo in a, uh, um, in a color as well. Okay. So from there, um, let's go, go ahead and download that JPEG. Cool. Work from home. I would say work from home, play from home. <laughs> I don't know. This is what I do. I do the great uh, surviving the great indoors. Done. Because what I've done now is I've created that blog post and now I'm creating all of these sort of like marketing assets that will point to that blog post. Okay, surviving the great indoors. Uh, you know, I probably want to change this a little bit more, you know, maybe the style for one. There we go, something like that. And you get the idea. All right, cool. Good, let's download that. Um, cool. All right, how is this, how is this cat magically hovering over this bed? Oh, it's one of those things. All right, so great indoors promo. Uh, promo asset is what I'm making right there. The great indoors. Is there a way to get some of these preset graphics icons in Illustrator? Mm, no, <laughs> there isn't. I think there's been some talk internally about, like honestly what I want is I want to be able to download um, Download, download some of these files as a PSD. That's what I would like. Um, so there are some things we can do. Let's explore some more of these templates. 
Uh, let me go ahead and search. Um, let's just do design. Cool. This one's nice as well. This is awesome. Right, taking one of these. Let's remix it. I have my brand. This doesn't match my brand. With one click, now it matches my brand. And guess what? I can jump in and uh, change this font as well. All right? Change some of the text. Cat wizardry. All right. How is everyone? Andrew, this is a um, late 2016 MacBook Pro. Yeah. So what I'm actually gonna talk about next week too is like if you wanted to live stream. So I'll go through my entire setup. Oh, pages unresponsive. They're like, oh, you're pushing us too hard, Paul. Plus how many browser windows do you have open? Let's close a lot of these. Right, again, super fun what we could do there. Bam, done. All right, so go back in here. Come on now. Oh, let's go back because, by the way, this is all in the browser. So there's like nothing I had to download or install or anything like that. Uh, right down here, we can see recent projects. So it saved it, even though my browser was unresponsive for whatever reason, it actually saved um, my Sticker designs, there we are, Chicago, Illinois. No, we need to change that. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, I know you can do it. You got this. Come on. You got this. Let's refresh. What kind of coffee am I drinking? I'm drinking K-Cup coffee. It all tastes the same to me. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a caramel coffee, but it doesn't taste like caramel. <laughs> but there's also nothing in it. It's just like black flavored coffee um, is the idea. Ah, cool. Let's try this one more time. Nope, just does not like me. Because what I was going to do is I was going to produce some posts. Ah, uh, to promote like some stickers that I'm gonna make because chances are, I know we give away a lot of free stickers, but um, you know, we uh, we don't design them at all. And I was thinking, okay, what if I design some cool stickers and then I sell them? So that's the idea behind that post. So let's try this one more time. Come on, I only have five minutes left. Then the wonderful Voodoo Val will be up. All right. How's everyone doing? Tell me, tell me a story. What kind of coffee are you guys drinking? This is like my third cup today. All right, so again, cool thing is this is all saved. I'm just gonna start from scratch or not. Oh, these are cool. Oh, let's take a look at this one, because there's a lot you can learn about Spark just from opening up these templates. This one I find interesting because there's actually, looks like there's an image, it looks like there's an image inside of this text. So with that selected, um, let's see, effects. Yeah, tell me this isn't amazing. Ah, cutout. So that's the effect that's happening right here, right? That's pretty awesome. We'll change this from deep dive to... This 
side. Custom designs. There we go. Custom designs. This is a cutout style, which is awesome. Here's outline. But really what I want to do is I want to take a look at this image back here and I want to replace it. Okay, so we're going to replace this with photos that are on my desktop. Because again, I'm making custom designed assets, trying to get some work. That's the idea. Oh, let's go in here. Ah, let's see what I got. Something cool. Oh, I got four minutes left. Here we go. Let's get this mythos. There's some text in it. I don't really know if I like text on text. Okay, finally. There we go. It's loaded in there. And... Um, let's see what I got going on in here. Got some fun filters. Wait for it. Opacity, there it is. Ah, that's what I was looking for. Custom designs. So I use this cutout effect and custom designs is the text. I can actually see uh, custom artwork. We'll do that. Right down here, no, not explore the oceans. Made for you, or quality craftsmanship, or whatever. Quality craftsmanship, which is just such a hipster word. Right, let's change the colors. Boom, bam, 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 bam. Like that, let's point them to paultranny.com. There we go. Thing is, these colors don't quite match, but you know what I can do to treat this? I can go back in here for this. Photo effects. There we go, grabbing this one. Filters. And I could change that, uh, that artwork back there. Anyways, that looks kind of cool. I don't have much time left. Val is up. Resist corporate coffee. Oh yeah, all right. Color, I wanna switch this up. Let's change this color to that nice gold, something like that. Kind of breaking my brand, but you know what? You'll forgive me, won't you? Right here, change that to black, boom, download it, JPEG, bam, okay. Custom artwork made for you. Are you guys having fun with Spark? It's the easiest thing to use, right? It's just awesome, right? Uh, by the way, when I download this, I could download this as a ping file, and if there's transparency in it, it'll keep that transparency, which is awesome, because that's what I want to do in this case. I know Val's coming up in another minute, Let's take a look at these downloads. Try to sort through all the madness. There's that ping file that I can play with a little bit more in Photoshop. So you get the idea. Oh, wait for it. Oh, I always try to do things at the last minute. It's so much fun. It's so, so healthy to do. But there we go, taking this, copying, bam, bam, pasting it in there. And now we can have kind of like a little bit of cooler effect uh, right there. So I'm going to be respectful of your time. There we go. Oh, man, cool. 
custom artwork made for you. That's all I have for you. Uh, I appreciate you, Keith and Steve and Ricky and everyone. Uh, Voodoo Val is up next and uh, she's gonna dive into that um, daily creative challenge. But also I will be back up. Uh, let's take a look right here in a little bit at 11.30. So, but learn all about Photoshop, all about photo photography, things like that in the morning and the afternoons, XD, uh, illustration and a design off. So yeah, sorry, no stream hogging. I know, I know, man, they just tell me, to, they ask me to do it and I say yes and then I do it. So I don't know, I don't, they come to me. So anyways, Afroja, I appreciate you and everyone. You guys are fantastic. We will see you soon. Voodoo Val is up next with Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. So. Thanks everyone. Spark more tomorrow, by the way. So we're gonna get into video and some, uh, some more branded content I think would be awesome. So again, thanks so much for watching and we will see you soon. Val's up next.